just so you guys know, I did relocate the Pro Tang that was in the hot water heater box from the bottom area right here to the side area right here. So it is secured really well. If for some reason there's a fire in this area, that will discharge and put the fire out. And then one of the other Protangs that I had actually installed incorrectly, I used the Protang that was designed for my toolbox in my refrigerator area and the one for my refrigerator in my toolbox. So I just swapped them out. The other thing that Protang suggests is that when you install it in your refrigerator area, you run it all the way up so it gets into this back area as well. That way if a fire starts up there, it can suppress it. So I've relocated it. Everything looks to be positioned correctly now and I should be set up to be even safer. And the reason why I needed to swap them is because this specific protein is a heavy duty model and it's designed to discharge when it gets hotter than some of the other ones because this back area right here can get rather hot and you don't want it prematurely discharging. Now I know some of you this video won't apply to because you have a fifth wheel or a coach that has a way of storing this gigantic thing. However, I don't. And currently what I do is I coil up this huge 50 amp cable and I throw it into my front storage basement area. Unfortunately, it takes up a tremendous amount of room and it ends up getting a little bit twisted up and tangled up when it's in there. Now, a lot of people, when they buy their fifth wheel or when they buy their coach, whatever type it is, they have a way of reeling up their power line, whether it's in a pocket at the very back, whether it's in their front storage area, whether it's in their side basement area. I personally have been wanting one of those for a long time. Finally got one, gonna install it on the coach now. So first of all, I wanna give a big shout out to the folks over at e-trailer who supplied me with this reel away cord reeler this will give me the ability to reel up my 50 amp cable into the side area of my fifth wheel and not have to worry about it always getting in the way or getting all tangled up and jumbled up this should be a really quick install and it's something that i've been wanting for a long time now the specific one you're looking at here is made by lippert components it's called the reel away this is probably the exact same one many of you already have in your fifth wheel or your class abc whatever you're driving to store your specific power cable if you have a way to store it and we're going to be adding it to the fifth wheel today so hang tight now one really nice thing about this setup is when you unbox it it is completely assembled the only thing you have to do is cut a little zip tie here with four screws to mount it to the floor of your fifth wheel. This will probably be one of the quickest and simplest installs I've ever done on the fifth wheel. Once you install it you simply insert your cable right here start winding up and it stows your entire cable. This entire setup is actually very compact. Okay, so I've set it in the floor area of the coach. It's roughly 18 inches tall. It's actually 17 and 9 16 inches tall. It is 21 inches long and seven and a half inches wide. I put it right here next to my power disconnect because it actually doesn't interfere with it at all. When I set it right here, I can still have full access to hitting that power disconnect switch if I need to, so it's not blocking it. I didn't put it on this side because my wet bay is right here, and if I ever have any type of a plumbing issue where I need to get back to it, I don't want to have to unscrew this from the back floor area. I can simply move this panel aside and get to my connections quickly because if you have a plumbing issue, you want to get to it very quickly. So this is where it's going to go. I have full access to the handle right here to be able to reel it in. I just need to use these four screws, secure it to the floor, and I should be done. And again, all I need to do is screw it into the floor. Okay, it's now secured. It's not going anywhere. Let's get the power line put in here and start reeling it up. Okay, so we're just going to take our power cord. We're going to insert it like that catches it that's it that is a much simpler process winds the whole thing up, everything looks really nice and neat in there now, and you just don't have to worry about it just laying here in the center, taking up a bunch of space. I now have the ability to put everything back in and know that my cord is nicely stowed away. So that is a really cool invention. I'm really glad I got it. 
E-Trailer sells this product for about $169 and change, plus it's shipped to you for free, and they have an outstanding return policy for some reason it doesn't work out for you. I'll put a link in the description of this video to where you can get this. I definitely recommend it. This is something I've wanted for a long time. Finally glad I could put it in my RV. Anyways guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.